In ecology, a community is defined as the groups of populations of different kinds of organisms within a particular area or habitat. Now, when you look at the textbook definitions of a particular kind of community, it seems like, okay, these all, all these organisms live in this one area. But in reality, scientists have discovered that a lot of times what we think of as one community kind of blends and merges into neighboring communities. If we look at this simple drawing I made here, if you imagine each colored blob is the area that a particular species lives in, we have a community here made up of the brown, the red, and the blue. While over here, we have a community made up of the blue and just the green. So they overlap. And so these relationships can be very complex and a little bit hard to grasp. But if you put the effort into it, it can really pay off. Now, there are some particular kinds of relationships that you stereotypically find within a community. You have predation. That's obviously what's eating what. You have symbiosis. Perhaps you have two species that live in close relationship to each other, and maybe one helps the other, or maybe they both benefit, that kind of thing. Then you often will find interspecies competition. That's when you have two different organisms going after the same resource, and then they wind up influencing each other's behavior, and maybe one even will get edged out. Say for in this example, let's suppose uh, the green and the red actually are going after the same food, they will tend not to penetrate each other's territory because one of them will be able to outcompete the other. Now, one of the reasons that this kind of un uh, study is so important is that by understanding it, we can avoid some problems. For example, right now, there's a problem in the United States about Asian carps, which are non-native species. They've been infesting a number of uh, rivers and lakes, and the fear is that because they don't have any natural predators, the normal interactions that go on in a community that keep each population in kind of balance with the others will be thrown out of whack, and they'll be able to outcompete the native species that are already present, thus disrupting already established communities, some of which provide our food.